Lockwell Enterprises was in a panic. I hate to inform you this, Lockwell, but the dome is broken on Zula. Yeah, I think I kind of figured that out already. Watch those damn missiles! I need to get the hell out of here! Sir, what happened to your accent? Forget my accent and launch the damn missiles! Yes, sir. I'll let the others know. We won't disappoint you, Lockwell. On Zula, the Zula Patrol told the whole story of their time on Earth, meeting with the other humans, everything. Many of the Zulaeans questioned, what were they going to do now since that they were free? Bula told them a little bit of a plan if they wanted to come along on this. First we need Ferdinand and Jerry. Wait, where are they? Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just came back with new hair because it's in the middle of June, as you might know. Why is everyone staring at us? Oh, it's just us Zulaeans get haircuts only once a year. Everyone, this is Jerry and Ferdinand, some of our biggest helpers. Oh, please, don't. Don't put me on the spot, please. We heroes or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember we are. If you don't mind me asking where we're going to be launching these missiles, where exactly? London and Washington, D.C. Suddenly, two missiles came out of the runways. The two missiles stood side by side, ready to be launched. The Zula Patrol Jerry and Ferdinand got into the time machine from, you know, down to Earth. Of course, the time machine function was broken. Many other ships from Zula trailed behind, consisting of just about everybody from Zula. So what's the plan here? Foil Lockwell's plans, destroy everything at Lockwell Enterprises, that's it. Anything looking odd on our radars, Jerry? Things look pretty good. Lockwell soldiers checked the radar. With the amount of dots they saw on the radar, they were overwhelmed. We need to protect the missiles! All soldiers, move into position! You want us to launch the missiles yet? Yes! Launch the damn things already! Um, guys, we may want to hurry! They're gonna launch the missiles! However, everyone was sure that would be the last thing to happen. They were getting closer and closer to Lockwell Enterprises. They approached Lockwell Enterprises at full speed. The soldiers didn't have time to get into the jets, so they instead got their guns out and waited for the ships to arrive. Within seconds, the soldiers went from guarding to running. All the Zula ships came in with mounted machine guns thanks to autofocus mostly, and shot many of the soldiers and destroying most of their vehicles. Many of the ships from Zula went off to other parts of the Lockwell Enterprises and shooting many buildings, many soldiers, and many other things. However, the Zula Patrol had a bit of a certain interest, and that was to destroy the missiles. Using the miniguns mounted on the sides of the ship, it actually made the missiles tip over, but not blow up, however fuel leaked from them. They saw that the missiles' fuel began to leak. They shot at the missiles and their fuel, and then something big happened. Lockwell Enterprises was completely demolished, and so was most of the mountain with it. Thankfully, all the Zuleans got away from Lockwell Enterprises just in time before the explosion. Thankfully, none were killed or injured. However, the same can't be said for Lockwell soldiers. All 211 that were at Lockwell Enterprises were killed by the explosion. 
and all their vehicles, aircraft, and other stuff were completely destroyed as well. A manhunt was issued. The Zuleans had found out that Gary Lockwell left only five minutes prior to them getting to Earth to destroy Lockwell Enterprises. The FBI, MI6, the Zuleans, and even the Zula Patrol searched for Lockwell for hours. The following day, at 1 a.m., they finally found out where Lockwell was. There was a bit of a catch, though. Lockwell wasn't alone. This would be the final battle.